In a house in the woods, Vanessa looks out the window when she is suddenly startled by a bird hitting the glass. Vanessa goes out to look at the body and her husband Alex joins her and tries to hold Vanessa's hand to comfort her. However, she just leaves. Later, Vanessa tells Alex and his brother Martel that she heard a loud noise from the forest last night that sounded like S explosion. Martel tells of a facility in the forest where supposedly carries out strange experiments. Previously, people disappeared and the facility was closed, so the forest is now considered a nature reserve. However, Alex believes that this is the story of made up by her father, who abandoned her. Martel thinks her father was looking for something, but Alex dismisses the idea. Then Vanessa decides she needs some time alone and gets ready for a walk in the woods. Martel gives her a rifle to ward off wild animals and casually asks if the couple has decided to sell the house yet. Alex says they are thinking about it, but Vanessa is against it, leading to an argument that causes Vanessa to leave in a huff. Alex follows her and explains that his brother is just trying to help them move on, but Vanessa asks Alex if he wants her to be the one who died that night and not her son. Alex swears he's already forgiven her for the car accident and doesn't want to lose her, but Vanessa just goes hiking. After crossing the lake by boat, Vanessa wanders through the forest for some time. She finally pauses and closes her eyes, only to hear a noise nearby. As she begins her investigation, someone suddenly shoots at her, whereupon she immediately takes cover behind a tree and shoots back, hitting the man in the leg. But when she looks through the scope, she is shocked to see that the mysterious shooter is herself, who is now leaving. At the house, Alex is worried because Vanessa was in the woods two hours ago and tries to reach her on the radio, but she doesn't answer. At this point, she returns and looks visibly shaken, but when Alex tries to ask her what happened, she simply says she saw a bear and storms in. Alex goes to check on her and finds her crying, so he begs her to open up and points out that she continues to block him from her life. Vanessa snaps at him and accuses him of moving too quickly and pretending to want to live a normal life for even though they can't have one. After kicking him out, Vanessa remembers what happened and looks in her suitcase for medicine sold in yellow bottles. But in the end, she doesn't accept it. That evening, Vanessa is watching TV when Alex tells her that Martel is grilling outside so she should join them. At first, Vanessa ignores the invitation but eventually changes her mind. As she leaves the house, she sees some physics formulas on the blackboard. At dinner, Martel tells the story of how his father took them fishing in the year, and Martel almost drowned. He tells them that he has started to look at life differently. First he started drinking and then he realized that people definitely have no control over anything and the decision has already been made for them. There are no mistakes, just lessons learned and he has been sober for many years now. Feeling like she's being patronized, Vanessa gets up to go and gather her things. As Martel tries to help her, accidentally burns her hand and rushes in to tend to her. Vanessa then returns to and finds Martel pouring himself a glass of whiskey. She immediately confronts him and asks if everything he just said about purity was a lie, but at that moment she notices that his burn has already healed. Martel says it's not as bad as they thought and decides to take a walk. When Vanessa turns around, she is surprised to see Martel walking towards her at number with her arm bandaged. Frightened, she rushes to her room. That night, Vanessa can't sleep because keeps thinking about what she saw in the forest. She decides to take the gun and take another walk in search of answers to the number. Deep in the woods she finds a broken fence and some blood on its side, possibly left by the woman she used to shoot. Vanessa ignores the warning signs, crosses the fence, and follows a path that leads her to a natural tree arch. After crossing, she sees a tree on the ground and continues searching the area. After hours of wandering, she finds the arch again and when she looks through it she is shocked to see the same fallen tree. When she looks back, she finds the same thing and is horrified. Before she leaves, she ties her scarf to a branch, marks the trees, and tries to find the rest of the forest. A few moments later, she comes across the archway again, but her scarf has disappeared. Vanessa tries to return to with her tags, but they have also disappeared. As she runs around, she only gets back to the arch of, so a frightened Vanessa finally decides to leave and cross the fence again, not noticing that the blood is gone. At home, Vanessa finally tells Alex everything she saw, but Alex doesn't believe her. He thinks she sounds just as crazy as his father did before he disappeared and asks her to take the medicine. Alex also tries to broach the subject of her son and Vanessa slaps him for it, but Alex continues. He says he apologized many times and wonders if she wished he had died instead of her child, describing the accident as if he was the one driving. Vanessa is very embarrassed because her son died during the trip, but when she tries to mention it, Alex calls her crazy and asks her to take her medication. 
He even gives her the bottle and Vanessa is shocked to see that it is blue. Just then, Martel comes in with bandage on his left arm, but Vanessa remembers that he injured his right arm. Vanessa returns to the forest of in fear, ignoring the man's worried words. She can't find any of her signs in the trees, and as she approaches the archway, she notices someone lurking in the bushes. Vanessa immediately hides, points her gun at the mysterious man, and demands that he come out. At that moment, Alex comes out into with his hands raised and explains that he is not her husband, but Alex from an alternate universe. Vanessa notices he isn't wearing a wedding ring and is wary of him, but Alex swears he won't hurt her and convinces her to talk. Alex then takes her to his small fire and pulls out a few cigarettes, which surprises Vanessa because Alex doesn't smoke. This Alex explains that the forest is connected to many universes and each of them has small differences from the others, from haircuts to scars. Alex has been stuck here on for some time and has visited multiple universes, so he came up with a theory. He takes out S notebook with the same drawings Vanessa saw on the board and explains that the source is forest and that there are four points within the fields that can be crossed. This Alex is also physicist and Vanessa never finished her PhD and is stuck as a math teacher. However, the most shocking thing about this Alex is that Vanessa left him after they lost their son, but he misses her and is desperately looking for her. Vanessa wonders if there is a universe where her son is still alive, but Alex says he can't find it. In all the places he visited, the boy died in a car accident or did not exist at all. Alex then comes up with a plan to find their original locations, wants to attach a fishing wire to the tree they are currently on and take the other end with them while explores, hoping to follow the wire on that follow the way back can return to the same point. However, since they need more than he does, they decide to visit the house. The first universe they entered, they sneak into the garage and find more wire as well as the explosive. Suddenly, they are startled by Martel, who starts crying and asks them to stop following him because he knows they are not real because he has their bodies buried. It turns out that in this world, Martel was driving during the accident that killed Alex and Vanessa, who was eight months pregnant at the time. Since then, Martel believes their ghosts continue to appear in-house, but he has likely seen alternate versions of the couple from other universes. Alex and Vanessa tell Martel to be kind to himself before heading back into the forest. They set up line and agree on code words to recognize each other. Room 1111, bed 8, which was room of the hospital where Alex's son stayed for three months. Before he leaves, Alex tells the story of how he got lost in the woods. One afternoon, he entered the house and heard strange noises, only to find two Martells fighting with each other. They ran away from the house and Alex followed them. Martell told him that her father was about to run into the forest with the other one, and when Alex tried to follow them, he got lost. In response, Vanessa tells him how she shot herself. They then kiss before Alex leaves in the middle of the night. The next morning, Vanessa sees the wire moving and moves quickly to see Alex approaching, so she says room 1111, to which he replies bed 8 to confirm that he is the right one. Alex explains that he found a version of himself, Vanessa, and Martel, who were a happy family, but he had to escape when Vanessa saw him and fainted. He also announces that he has mastered navigating the multiverse, so he brought explosives from the garage to blow up every entrance to other worlds so that they cannot return to the false. Vanessa realizes that this is the sound she heard at the beginning because the time difference is also. That night Alex leaves again and after a few hours the wire begins to shake. Vanessa whispers the code but no one answers, so she puts out the fire and goes searching. She follows line, comes home and finds a drunk Alex on the counter. He doesn't understand her number when she says the code, but then starts talking about how she disappeared in the woods. Vanessa asks which hand burned Martel, and when Alex answers correctly, Vanessa realizes that she has returned to her original world and hugs him. At that moment, Martel enters the room and as Vanessa turns around, Alex breaks a bottle over her head to knock her out. A few minutes later, Vanessa wakes up tied to a chair in the garage. Alex wants to shoot her because he thinks she is not Vanessa, but Martel tries to stop him. When they see her awake, Alex says that he has already killed her in and discovers a body nearby. It turns out that Vanessa came to house with a gunshot wound and thought it was hers. Alex believes that the dead Vanessa is his and that she is his doppelganger, so he goes crazy because of the confusion. Vanessa tries to tell him that his father was right, but only the number makes him even angrier. Alex wants to shoot her, so Martel lunges at him and they start a fight over gun. During the fight, the gun accidentally goes off and Alex is killed. After says goodbye to his brother, Martel frees Vanessa and sends her back to the forest, telling that she doesn't belong there. It is then removed using the same weapon itself. 
As Vanessa thinks about how she lost everyone she loves, she spends the night in a tree arch and tries to find S Camp again in the morning. To her shock, she finds Alex dead nearby and notices that he doesn't have a wedding ring. He has the number. There is a wedding ring mark, meaning someone killed and stole it. Afterwards, she explores the other universe of and finds a very happy family having fun, so she decides to go back to the forest and take a nap at. Hours later, Alex finds her and uses the code word correctly. Vanessa notices that he has the ring number and realizes that he killed the other Alex to take his place. She calls him, but Alex defends his choice and says she needs to find a new location too. Alex then brings the other Alex's body to the entrance of his chosen universe and plants the dynamite before running off to his new life. Vanessa gets as far away from the explosion as she can and while she is resting, she is approached by another Vanessa who is also knowledgeable about the problem of the multiverse. In fact, this Vanessa divorced the murderer Alex. She is deeply depressed about her son and does not want to return to her world. That's why she seriously considers shooting the main character, Vanessa, to capture. In desperation to protect herself, the main character, Vanessa, takes a rock and hits herself, killing herself instantly. When she realizes what she has done, she runs away and ends up in the next universe. The house looks the same, so she takes a shower and ends up passing out before going to bed. The next morning, she sees the bird hit the window and die. As she walks outside, the new Alex comforts her and this time Vanessa allows him to take her hand and kiss it. After a very leisurely breakfast with Alex and Martel, Vanessa agrees that this is her new home and goes upstairs. When she opens the door in, she is shocked to see the nursery and suddenly a man's voice calls her mommy. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this.